Hey guys, in this video, I will show you the process on how I made a chibi-like slash Funko Pop style of Harley Quinn's original animated design. It's not as complex as my previous models, so it would be easy to follow. Let's get right into the process of making. I first blocked out the proportions since the head would be the largest in the model. Having the proportion look right is very important for this style. Then I proceeded to give the head mesh to simple loop cuts to shape it similarly to the Funko Pop references. I wanted Harley's head to look very similar to the animated version, so I avoided to shape it into a cube-like head. When I was shaping the head, I was keeping in mind the soft cheek Harley has. That feature was a bit difficult to make since this is a low-poly model. At first, I didn't want to give the model a neck. However, that would mean that I would have a difficult time trying to make the neck piece in Harley's costume. So I just made one and sort of deviated a little from the Funko Pop proportions. Nevertheless, it was the right decision since the final model looked great. Here, I was trying to model the ear thingies Harley has, since I wanted the model to be simple, I first tried making it on the actual head mesh. However, it proved to be difficult, unattractive, and a bit messy. So like in my other models, I made the ear thingies from a separate mesh and just clipped it onto the head mesh. This was much easier and more effective than if I were to stick with my first method. I used a cone mesh as the base for the ear thingies. I put a simple loop cut on it to give it its curved look. For the body, I've put as less of loop cuts as I could to keep it very simple. Harley has an hourglass figure so it was a bit difficult to model since the upper chest and the lower pelvis are two separate meshes. I've added just the loop cuts to be able to extrude the mesh to model Harley's chest. The pelvis mesh was a bit difficult since I also have to consider the shape of the butt. Curves really are just difficult to make for low poly models. To make it look better, I added some faces to it so that it would not look too sharp when viewed in different angles. I also just soften the points where the meshes meet so that when I later pose it, there wouldn't be too much edges that are either too sharp or too flat. My leg and arm meshes disappeared for some reason, so I just blocked out some new ones as a guide for the proportions. Usually, making the legs are easy, 
However, since Harley Quinn also has curves for her thigh and leg, I had to figure out how I would be able to translate that into polygons. This is the only reason as to why I took a lot of time modeling her legs. I didn't want to spend a lot of time making another limb, so for the arms, I just duplicated the legs and resized it. However, it still didn't look right, so what I did was to make the duplicate as a guide on how the arms would eventually be shaped like. For the hands and feet, the process is very self-explanatory. I used a pyramid mesh for the shoes and a cube mesh for the hand.
The neck piece that Harley Quinn has was pretty fun to make. Originally, I was supposed to just texture it on the model since it did look flat on the references. But I thought that if I did that, it would look too pixel and unattractive to look at. So I decided to just make it in 3D. After making the neck piece, what I did was duplicate the arm and leg to each of its opposite sides since Harley has checkered style of color for her costume. Then I just started to color every mesh and faces to its proper color. For low poly models, I believe that the face is the most important part of the model since it is the part that everyone would be looking at most of the time. For this model, I first made her infamous mask since it would be the one that would determine where her eyes would be placed. Then I shaped the mouth to further make sure that the eyes are indeed at the right place. I had some conflicts with how I want the mouth to be like. My two choices was to either have it open or leave it closed like the ones in the references. I ended up choosing it to be closed since having it open used too much pixels which I didn't like the look of.
After finishing the face, I then proceeded to adding the diamond shapes that Harley Quinn had on her costume. I added some on the shoulder, on her arm, on her leg, on her butt, and on her other leg as well. Then I quickly added some outline for the entire model. After all that work and some off-camera modeling, the model ended up looking like this. I've added some props and added simple shadows on the model. I've also reworked the eyes and mouth since I thought that the earlier version looked too psychotic. I hope this video can help you out when you make your own low-poly models. You may have noticed that I skipped some parts of the process in this video. I did it so that I would be able to show the more important parts of the process. Also, I understand that some of you guys were having some trouble keeping up with the process. I hope this video would do a better job of doing so. Alright, that is all for this one. See you all guys in the next video.